Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to do a cook of a couple of different fish that are considered trash fish. Um, the first is the black nosed shark that you've seen the video on. Um, we've got a catch video where we caught a bunch of black nosed sharks. Um, they are rated very, very poor as far as edibility. Um, so we're going to see if we can make them really, really good to eat. And then the other fish that we're going to be um, cooking is black margate. Um, and we also have a video on the channel where we caught a couple black margate in the surf. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to soak this fish for 24 hours. And what we're going to soak it in is buttermilk. Um, shark, like a lot of people have told you, and I think I've even mentioned it, they urinate, they pee through their skin. And when we caught those fish, you can see that happening, it's pretty wild. So one of the things that you really want to do when you catch shark is um, you want to gut them and bleed them right away while they're still alive. That way you don't get all that ammonia built up in the meat. We haven't bled a couple sharks in the past. Um, the black tip that Brady caught, we did not bleed and it was really good. Um, but this one, we definitely, we did bleed these two. And then we soaked Brady's in milk and buttermilk um, one time and one time we did not. And it tasted great both ways. So, um, but we're gonna try this a little bit different. So black tip shark, really, really firm meat, no smell to it. So I can't imagine it's not gonna be good. Um, what we're going to do is just go straight buttermilk. We're not going to add any seasoning or any spices to it while we're soaking it in the buttermilk just in case it makes it tougher or anything like that. And we'll try it this way. Um, we brought back two black tips that were pretty good sized fish. One was a 47 incher, was Brady's, and Kobe's was a 45 incher, which is actually really good size for black nosed sharks. Um, but these fillets are great, they're huge chunks of meat. They look really, really good. I hope, I hope they're good. So we've got a bunch of black nose. We're going to just kind of toss it in this bowl down here. And then we got a bunch of this black Margate. And I can't imagine this isn't going to be good. I mean, it looked really good. It was decent looking fish, really, really white fillets. I'm sure the Margate's going to be totally fine. So we're just going to toss it in this little Tupperware container. I'm going to crack the buttermilk. And I'm going to use all this buttermilk in here. Buttermilk is kind of a mix between yogurt and milk. It's, it's kind of nasty and it stinks. Um, but hopefully it takes some of that fishiness or whatever it is that people don't like with black nose out of that fish. Like I said, we've never done black nose before. Um, this is the first for us and everything I've read on it says they aren't good, but we're gonna prove them wrong and see if we can make them edible. So what we're gonna do is cover this up, put it in the, freeze, uh, in the fridge for 24 hours and then tomorrow we'll take it out, pat it dry and season it up and cook it. We'll see you then. Alright guys, welcome back. So our shark and our margate um, has been soaking for 24 hours. I rinsed it off and patted it dry. Um, it's always a good idea to pat your fish dry after you rinse it off. You don't want it to be wet because then it'll um, not crust up and you like that good crust on your fish. So. A lot of people have different ways of cooking shark. Whenever we were cleaning this shark, there's a bunch of people at the cleaning table and they were talking about different ways of cooking shark. Some guys said, oh, you never cook shark with butter. And some said never put salt on it. Some said put a ton of salt on it. Um, I'm gonna cook this the same way we've cooked black tip and mako, um, which is with butter and with coconut oil. So butter is, you know, on high heat will burn. So it's always a good idea to kind of do about a 50-50 butter to oil mixture. A lot of people use vegetable oil. We like coconut oil, so I'm gonna go 
three tablespoons of some coconut oil. And I want enough grease in the bottom of this pan, enough stuff in the bottom of this pan to really kind of cook it. Um, and then three tablespoons of butter. So the other thing a lot of people talk about with fish is don't overcook your fish. Everybody says don't overcook your fish, never overcook your fish. I kind of am a little bit different. I like my fish cooked pretty decent, well done. I don't like any translucency in my cooked fish. I like sushi, I like sashimi, I like carpaccio and all those things, but when I'm cooking fish, I like my fish to be opaque whenever I cook it. So I cook my fish longer than most people. I still want juiciness to it, but I don't like it to be translucent at all. So how we're going to season this fish is we're going to use, first I'm going to turn our heat on. So, wrong one. So we're going to just go to about a medium so I don't want to burn this stuff. What we're going to use on the fish is we're going to use some Grandpa Lind, which as you all know is my favorite seasoning. Really, really good seasoning made in Wyoming. So you want to season your fish pretty liberally. I usually put a lot of sea salt on my fish, but we're going to not salt this uh, shark because I guess it really does bring that ammonia taste out. And then we're going to use some Old Bay lemon and herb seasoning. Same deal, we're going to season it pretty liberal. And I cut this shark up into smaller sizes because usually it takes about 10 minutes a side when you want to get that sear on there. And we're going to try that today with that shark and just kind of see how it turns out. And then we're going to flip and get the other side. Same deal, just season it up pretty liberally as this oil and butter is heating up. And then after we get this stuff in there, I'm going to squeeze some lemon on there. Everybody's different with their lemon. Some like to wait till the fish is done. I like to squeeze my lemon on a little bit early so it kind of poaches in that lemon juice just a little bit. I just like my fish a little bit lemonier but not overbearing. And usually you know how lemons are. Some of them have a ton of juice and some of them have no juice so as I'm squeezing it, we'll see how much juice comes out of the lemon. It's the same deal, Old Bay. And I might put some sea salt on the Margate, but definitely not on the shark. And obviously, whenever it's cooking, it'll get some of that sea salt on it. Turn that down just a touch. Alright, then we're going to go grab the lens. Okay, so our oil butter mix is heating up really good. Got it at about a medium. So I'm going to start putting my pieces of shark in there. Don't be scared to experiment. Fish is Pretty forgiving. Again, you know, as the title of this says, this is a potential trash fish cook. So you find out how trashy black nose shark and Margate are. That butter is popping all over, so we want to mix it in with the oil. Obviously, when you dry off your fish, there's less water on it too, so it'll make your oil 
butter pop a little bit less. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna take some lemon. And again, we'll just kind of see how much juice is in there. It's okay, it's not a ton, but we'll try maybe one and a half. Let's see how they do. I think one will probably be enough because you don't want it to be overbearing, overpowering. And then we'll just save the other lemon, squeeze it on there after we're done. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to let that cook for about oh, 10 minutes for the shark. The margate won't take nearly as long. Um, and we'll just kind of keep an eye on it. Monitor your heat. You might want to turn it up a little bit. It's I've got it at medium, I'm going to take it up just a touch, and we'll just kind of keep an eye on it, keep watching it, and um, flip it in about 10. Alright, fish has been cooking for about 10 minutes, we're going to flip it. It's getting a decent crust on it. I did put probably a little bit more fluid in there, but I'd rather have a little more fluid than a little less fluid. Shark actually looks awesome, it's cooking perfectly. I left the Margate in there the whole entire 10 minutes. Like I said, I'm kind of a little bit different when it comes to fish. I like it cooked a long time. Um, the last time I cooked the black tip shark, I did 10 minutes aside, but I had huge chunks. And then after I did the 10 minutes, I went back and did a couple more minutes on each side just to make sure it was the way we like our fish, but again, you know, however, however you like your stuff. Hopefully, this is a good taste in fish because we do not have a backup plan, so. I guess we've got some pasta and some corn. So it'll be an all-carb meal if this shark is not great. Okay, we'll give this side about 10 minutes and then we will do our taste test. Okay, here we go. Here goes the taste test. Black Margate, black nose shark. We're gonna see if it's trash fish or delish. Which one did you try? Shark. Shark. And? Margate. Which one did you try first? Margate, and it's not that good. <laughs> no, <laughs> not your favorite. I tried Margate and I liked it. You like the Margate? Okay. How about you, Mary? It's not bad. And so, the shark is great. It's a little bit. Yeah, um, the shark's awesome. I go try the Margate. It's not great. I won't. It's okay. It's not my favorite. It's definitely not terrible. The shark's yeah. a lot better than the Margate. Black nose shark, rated pretty poor on the edibility scale. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> yeah. I think it's great. <laughs> I like it. I don't know what they're talking about. No, I don't either. Black nose shark, so. It's not as good as black tip. No, black, black tip shrimp. definitely has a better flavor. It's a little bit more tender. But I think black nose shark is pretty good. We soaked it in buttermilk for a while, cooked it with a little bit of Grandpa Lynn's and, and um, Old, Old Bay. Bay. I think it tastes. Good. I would eat it again. Mm -hmm. Which is good because we have two of them in the freezer. <laughs> Alright, so black nose shark. I'm going to say not trash fish. Delish. And Margate, I'm going to say... It's okay. In between. So, so. Yeah. yeah. I like it. I probably won't keep Margate's again. But it wasn't bad. I like it. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave us a comment. Please subscribe to our channel. You have a great day.